Hi, I'm Dave Cross. In this quick Photoshop video, I want to show you the importance of being able to link and unlink a layer mask from its layer. By default, when you add a layer mask in the normal way, it's linked with the layer. That means if you move the layer, the mask moves with it. And much of the time, that makes sense. So if you have a photograph and you've created a mask to create an edge effect, you'd want them to move together. But there are certain instances where it makes better sense for the mask to be unlinked. Let me show you an example. So here I have a type layer. I'm going to take my move tool. I want to move it and I want to position it so it looks like it's on the wall behind the camera. So the simplest way to do that would be to create a mask. So I'm going to take my quick selection tool and just make a nice little quick selection of my camera. I want to aim to be as accurate as possible, but it doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to create a mask from this, which means we would be able to adjust it. I don't really need to select the whole camera because I really am only worried about this corner. So now I go back to my type layer. Now the way it works with a layer mask is when you have a selection, if you click on the add layer mask button, it will make a mask from that selection, which in this case would be the wrong way around. If I undo that, if I look at it and I know that I really want the mask to be the opposite of my selection, I hold down option on the Mac, alt for PC, and I click on that add layer mask button, then it adds the mask in the opposite. But if you look real close here, you'll see there's this little link symbol between the layer and the mask. Now, if I take my move tool and go to move the type layer, you'll see this is an example where it doesn't really make sense for the mask to move with it because now I just have cut off that part of the letter P. So if I undo that, I'm gonna click on that little chain symbol to unlink it and now click back on my type layer. So now what's gonna happen is the mask, which was made from that selection of our camera, is gonna stay put and now I can move my type layer around. See how it looks like I'm putting it in behind? So this can be used in a number of different ways. For example, if you want to replace the sky in a photograph and you want to make sure that the new sky looks like it's going behind the buildings, etc., you would do the same thing. Make sure that your layer mask is unlinked. Now in a separate video another day, I'll show you how to do that using a command called paste into. But for now, I just really want to highlight the difference between linking and unlinking of the layer mask. So here's another example. I've opened two different photographs and I'm going to take this photo and drag it into the other one. Then I'm going to take my marquee selection tool and I'm just going to select an area like this and click on the add layer mask button. So now this is an example where it makes sense for the layer and the mask to be linked together because if I move it I want to move it as a whole. I don't want if it was unlinked then I would just be moving the photograph around inside the mask, which I suppose you might want, but at a certain point you'd run into an issue with that. So the key thing to remember is you have to look and decide on a case-by-case -case basis. Sometimes it makes perfect sense, like in this example, for the layer and the mask to be linked together. In other cases, like our first example of the type trying to go behind the camera, it makes better sense for the mask to be unlinked. So there you go, the difference between linking and unlinking layer mask, a very useful command for lots of situations in Photoshop. Be sure to look out for my next quick Photoshop tutorial coming soon. We'll see you next time.